Have you ever been sitting on a plane, looking out the window, and seen it move? Backwards. It's a strange sight, right? Your first thought might be, wait, are we flying in reverse? Well, spoiler alert, we're not. Planes can't actually fly backwards. So what's really going on? Let's break it down. What you're seeing is called a pushback. Commercial airliners, like the ones you fly on for vacation, have incredibly powerful jet engines designed for one thing, generating massive forward thrust to lift tons of metal into the sky. These engines are engineering marvels, but they have a little secret. They don't have a reverse gear like your car. So how do they back away from the gate? That's where a special airport vehicle, called a pushback tug or tractor, comes into play. This powerful little vehicle connects to the aircraft's nose gear and literally pushes the entire plane backward, away from the terminal and onto the taxiway. The pilots are in constant communication with the ground crew operating the tug, ensuring the whole process is safe and precise. You might have also heard of something called reverse thrust. This is a bit different. After landing, you'll often hear the engines get really loud again. This is the pilot activating the reverse thrust system. It doesn't make the plane go backwards, but it redirects the engine's thrust forward, acting as a powerful brake to help slow the plane down on the runway. It's a crucial safety feature for landing, especially on shorter runways or in wet conditions. So, while it looks like your plane is defying the laws of physics and going in reverse, it's actually getting a helpful push from its friend on the ground. It's just one of the many cool, behind-the-scenes procedures that make air travel possible. The more you know about how these amazing machines work, the more fascinating flying becomes. Thanks for watching. If you love learning about aviation, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more flight facts. See you in the next one.